we're both old enough to remember when the the dawning of the age of the internet was all hopeful of, right. in terms of its uh, epistemological political consequences. It would be wonderful right. because, of course, it's it's democratizing by its nature, and and of course. As the marketplace of ideas was always supposed to do, the the good will drive out the bad. Right. Well, the worry is that the bad drives out the good, and it enables people who believe any cockamamie thing to have their their version, their their places online yeah. where those alternative facts are propagated. And and even to this question of the good pushing out the bad or the bad pushing out the good, the bad and the good are at moments, if not always, at the moment indistinguishable from one another. Part of the problem is that you really can't tell what is a good source and a bad source. Right. And, because and the bad actors have figured out how to fool us. That and starting, uh, as you know, I, I, so, I, as I loved the 60s as much as anybody. Right. But uh, there, there, there have been some unreckoned uh, bad consequences of the 1960s, not least of which, in, in the context of Fantasyland, is uh, the the, the anti-establishment feeling, the delegitimization of gatekeepers getting out of control and, 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 and not going away with the 60s.